Hi guys, so I'm just about to do my makeup. I apologise for looking like death. Um, I got my vaccine yesterday and honestly I've been so ill. Crap that. Hi guys, so I'm just about to do my makeup for the day. Um, yesterday I got my, my second vaccine and I've been feeling so ill all day, like awful. Um, I'm starting to feel a bit better now. It, well, I'm not being as bad as my first one. I got my first one. Oh God, I was so ill after that one. Like even worse. I fainted. I was vomiting. It was a hot mess. Um, but this one's not been too bad. My whole body just hurts. Like I'm just aching. But it's like a really painful ache. Like every time I just move, my body just hurts any part of it. Um, but I've taken some paracetamol to make myself feel a little bit better. I mean, yeah, it's kind of working. So, I thought I would do my makeup to make myself feel a bit more alive as well. Um, I'm also going Josh's later, so I thought I'd do a bit of makeup. Also, I got some, if you watch my, what I got for my birthday, I ordered myself some new makeup, like some Charlotte Tilbury makeup, and my mum also got me the Chanel bronzer and a Fenty cream lip gloss. So I thought I'd do like my makeup and just test it all out for you all in this little vlog i'm not a makeup artist so i definitely wouldn't do like a full video because god i'd get hated on for that um so yeah i've just i always cleanse my face with the mixella water this is like the biggest bottle you can get um i take my makeup off with it but i also just do it every morning it's just so refreshing and it's not even morning now it's like five o'clock in the afternoon well five o'clock in the evening um when does it get to evening like at what point is it no longer the afternoon and it's the evening i don't know anyway random thought of mine so yeah i always take it off this josh loves when i do that like do it for him as well because he just finds it clear <laughs> yeah josh likes when i do it for him as well because he loves seeing like all the dirt that comes off your face because honestly so much comes off even when like you've double cleansed more still comes off um so yeah i'm just popping on some eye cream i'm using the dragon's blood one by rodeo um i got it in like a, a not a gift set but like you know on look fantastic they sometimes do them um what are they called like they do like bundles sometimes and this was part of their easter bundle so yeah i got it where it's like 10 products or something like that for like a reduced price so, yeah and it's actually really nice but i don't know i don't really see much difference in eye creams so i think that was really expensive that one but i won't like repurchase it it's nothing special um oh, i was meant to do that as well so i'm just going in with my pixie glow tonic as well so how's everyone been is everyone is everyone double vaccinated now are you getting vaccinated what's your opinions on it I didn't really think too much of it at first I was kind of like oh I don't really want it but then I wanted to go on holiday it was kind of becoming the case where you need to be vaccinated to go on holiday and my mum's also very vulnerable so we all took the decision to get vaccinated I mean I'm not against people that don't one of my friends hasn't got it done another one of my friends actually she was really ill I'm fully aware by the way that I should have done this before my eye cream I'm just avoiding my eye area um, one of my friends was actually quite ill after she got the vaccine, so she's not actually having her second one. There's only mixed like reviews. I don't think they're really saying the negative stuff, but I got the Pfizer one because just before I got my first one, all that stuff came out about is it like blood clots or something with the AstraZeneca one. I don't know. Enough vaccine talk. So that's just a depressing topic. So next, I'm going in with my moisturizer i was about to do some cream do you do sun cream first or moisturizer sun cream i always do sun cream first but i watched a video the other day and they said that they should have done moisturizer first i prefer going in with sun cream first so i'm just using this la roche posse is that how you say la roche posse this one honestly it's grubby now because i literally use it all the time but it's quite a small bottle but honestly it's lasted me so long and there's still so much left in it like it's incredible and it's because it's like a thin bottle it's so good for like having in your like makeup bag so it's really easy to like travel with and stuff it's not that bulky which i love 
So I'm just putting this all over my face. It's Factor 50 as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do a tinted version of that one as well. If you wanted like a bit of a tint or something, especially on holiday, that might be nice. Um, I think I just got mine to look, fast, look fantastic, but I got it ages ago, honestly. It's going to last me still so much longer. Who doesn't like go out a date? I'm awful with that stuff. So next I'm going in with my moisturiser. So I used the Estee Lauder one. I know a lot of people love the Charlotte Tilbury one. But I don't really like that because I don't like tacky background, like not background, like tacky like products on my skin. My skin does not like them. Like it never reacts well to them. So um, I love this one because it literally just sinks into your skin so nicely. Um, so yeah, I love this one. What else have we got to talk? What's been going on recently as well? Oh, it's finally sunny as well. Obviously, we have had an awful summer in England, but yeah, today's the first day that it's back sunny. Thank God for that, because it's been so dull and boring. I kind of just lost hope. I think this is going to be like our last sunny week. Um, but it's also bank holiday coming up this weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. I really wish I'd got Creamfield tickets, but they sold out too quickly. Um, Josh is getting his tattoo done on Saturday. He has so many, like, he's got both his sleeves done and he's got half a leg done and he's getting, yeah, he's getting his, like, next one on his leg. He's getting another one on his leg. I'm not really fussed on them, to be honest. Like, I don't mind his tattoos, but he wants to be, like, covered in them and I hate that, like, I really, really don't want him to do it. But the more I say don't do it, the more he's like, oh, I want to do it. So, mm, frustrating. Um, so next I'm going to go in with, um, so, God, nearly dropped everything. So I bought the Wonder Glow. So I haven't tried this yet. It's like a glowy primer, apparently. But I also bought the Flawless Filter, like Youth Glow. So when I get new products, I like to do like half and half, so like if I just had one new product, I just put it on half my face to see if it makes a difference. Like that's why I want to see, is it worth me? Like, is it doing something to my skin? So I'm going to put half floor filter on one side of my face and half, what's it called? Wonder Glow on the other side of my face. I just got a tester size or like a travel size of this one. Um, so I got this in shade 3 Pale. I don't know if that's going to be the right colour for me though. I'm awful at testing colours. I mean, it looks kind of tan, but I've seen someone who's more pale than me and they were using four, so maybe I should have gone a bit darker. So I'm going to go in with this side with the Wonder Glow and then I'll check back in later to see um, if there's any difference. Oh, this I didn't realise this was going to be um, pigmented. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's really doing much, but I didn't realise it had, like, colour to it. I thought it was just going to be white. Um, let's put it across half of my face. It feels nice. It's not tacky, so that's good. Um, whenever I touch my face, by the way, it always just goes red and then it calms down, like, a minute later. It just does not like being touched. That's, like, really nice on my skin, actually. I don't really have a smell. I smells a bit like sun cream, but that might just have been the sun cream that I put on before. So yeah, that's on one side of my face. And then I'm going to go in with the flawless, ooh, flawless filter on the other side of my face. I wasn't sure. Are you going to put it on with a brush or your hand? I mean, I just put it on with my hand, but I'm not sure if you're meant to do it as a brush. Hmm. If you've got it, let me know in the comments below. How do you how are you supposed to apply it? Does the God does the box say? All over face, on top of foundation, blah blah blah. No, doesn't say. Okay, so this is what they both look like. I mean, I definitely don't think either of them have added any colour to my skin, but I say this one seems a little bit more glowy than this side. So, this is the flawless filter side, but. I don't know. We'll see if they make any difference to foundation. I'm just gonna do my brows. So usually for my brows, I always use the NYX brow pencil, but I might give it the Full Brew Brow Powder from Benefit a go. Um, 
I found it the other day in my drawer and I think I've used it about once so yeah I'm gonna give this a go. Okay so I've just done my brows and some eyeshadow so I'm just going to go in with my foundation next. So another new product I got was the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation. Again I'm not sure if I've got the right colour on that but we'll give it a go. So I got shade 4 warm. So let's see if it's um maybe quite white like light on my skin but i've not really got any tan left over so it should be okay there's someone outside my house right now like i live near a school and i, I assume that's what they're filming for there's like a guy with a camera and a girl like in front of the camera like talking and walking but it was quite professional but i assume it's something to do with the school I feel like discussing like where she needs to stand and how many steps to take. They're still getting. She's fuming because the lorry's just come down the street and ruined her tea. I'm really curious what they're doing. Cause I don't, I don't know if it is for the school because the school's fully closed. Like there was people there this morning, but it's closed now. Like it's still some holidays, so it's not properly open. But there's people there like every day. I can hear like bits and bobs like she keeps saying that the word play i assume it's about the school um i'm just adding some concealer in. i always add my concealer before i blend my foundation because my skin is just so funny and it doesn't like um it doesn't like me putting concealer on after i've blended in my foundation like i don't know kind of separate um so i just blend it all in one go it doesn't really like layering my skin it's kind of going through like a bit of a skin journey at the minute so i had i used to have really really bad um acne and my skin's still not perfect like as you saw before it's still very like pigmentated there's still spots and stuff i was on relaxing for a while i didn't do like the full like a lot of months i stopped early more so because, I mean, I don't think, it's not because of Veracatine, but it did show up and I'd never realised it before. It was on one of my, on, like, you had to get blood tests every month. And on my blood test, it's showing that I was stage one, was it kidney disease? Liver disease? I can't remember. I can't remember which one it is. I think it was liver. Was it kidney? It was either liver or kidney disease, like... I had like the level for stage one or something and I was like what and I know racketine is not good for your body so I just decided to not continue with it um because my spots had improved from being on it but some part of me is like oh I just wish I carried on because then maybe my skin would be in a better position but at the same time you know damaging your organs is not worth it just for clearer skin um because it got to a really bad point with my skin where I was like, I wouldn't leave the house. Um, especially if I didn't have makeup on. Just things like that. I just got really insecure about it. I am quite an insecure person though, to be honest. Like, I've been struggling a lot recently with, like, self-love and things like that. Like, I'm just very, very, like, self-critical of myself. Um, like, no matter what anyone says, I'm just, I don't know. I just don't believe anything that any, like anything nice someone says about me. I'm just like, oh no, that's a lie. Just saying that, just to be nice. Like I just, I don't know what it is. Like I really just hate everything about myself at the minute. Like, like if someone said like, what do you like about your, your appearance? I'd be like nothing. Like I genuinely don't like anything about myself. You know, most days I will spend like an hour just crying about my appearance. Like on the weekend, um, when me and Josh were celebrating my birthday, I when we like got back from going out for some food, I spent the next hour on the bathroom floor just crying. I was like, oh, I'm just going to the toilet, and then really I was just literally just going to cry. And it's like it's nothing he says, it's nothing anyone says. Like I'm just not a confident or secure person at all. Like, like I. It's really hard to explain, but I don't want to be seen either. Like, 
I'm just so insecure. I just want to be invisible. Like, I don't know if the face masks have kind of like escalated it because when we were wearing face masks, like I liked wearing them because I hid my appear, like I hid who I was. Like you couldn't really tell who I was. Like if you just saw me on the street, you wouldn't know it was me. Like my friends wouldn't be able to recognise me if they weren't intended on me and then they just like bumped into me. They wouldn't know it was me. So I liked that people didn't know who I was. Like people couldn't see my face and things like that. And then obviously like masks aren't really a thing right now and I've just gone so insecure about everything. So yeah, has anyone else struggled with like their self-confidence like that? I don't know, I just feel like lockdown and the mask definitely like heightened it, like definitely increased it a lot more. So even things just like going um into shops and stuff, like me and Josh were in Zara the other day because I had something to return for my birthday and I just walked out of the shop just like dead abruptly I was like I'm going I can't like I can't stay in the shop and it was just because like I didn't want like to be seen like I felt so insecure just being in the shop and like that sounds so stupid like literally nobody cares like nobody cares what I'm doing like no one's even looking at it. I know that like no one cares but I don't know what it is it's like just don't want like to be seen by anyone like I just want to be invisible um by the way I was just using this Charlotte Tilbury powder I have used this before but I had shade two instead of shade one so I've just bought it in shade one so yeah I just put that under my eyes and on some parts of my face that I get a bit oily um so yeah has anyone else dealt with like similar insecurities and things like that like me before let me know um, next I'm going in with the Chanel bronzer um, so this is a cream bronzer isn't new products so satisfying like I don't want to ruin like the gorgeous swirl do I go in straight with like a flat brush or do I line it on my face let's just try and go in with a flat brush um, so yeah that's kind of what I'm like at the minute I honestly like I was trying to talk to my mum about it the other day and I was just I don't really know like how to improve it like I don't know how to get myself out it's kind of like rust I'm in at the minute because it's not healthy like being this insecure and stuff and not wanting to be seen I, don't, I just don't get it like I don't know I in some ways like I wish the mask thing didn't happen because I wasn't like this before then like granted like wear masks like I definitely went out and did a lot more stuff than I would have used to like I used to never go like the shop or anything on my own but like when I started wearing masks I went to the shop all the time on my own because no one could see me and I think I got so used to being just going out doing things like being fine with doing it and now I'm like in this just rut of self-hating insecurity and I don't know like I don't know how to get out of it so I quite liked that um Chanel bronzer it wasn't dead like harsh it was quite a subtle really buildable cream bronzer quite like that I've also just gone in with my MAC give me sun mineral skin finish and that's like my favorite bronzer I was going that and I'm just going in now with some uh, what's the brand of this called Milani yeah I think it's Milani um in shade Luminar so it's the baked powder blush so yeah that's like my current position in terms of like myself but what are you guys like have you ever dealt with any of this like what are your coping with like how do you learn to love yourself you know like everyone says like you just need to learn to love, like, love yourself like how do you do that like Tell me how and I will do it. Like, because I just don't, I don't like feeling like this. Like, I hate it. And I don't like what it's doing to people around me either. Because, like, I look at Josh and, if you don't know Josh, my boyfriend. Um, like, I look at kind of what it's doing to him. Like, obviously, he's the one that keeps finding me just crying my eyes out. Like, most weekends I do it and it's, it's not his fault. But, like, I'm kind of 
he kind of feels like it is because obviously I'm crying in his presence and stuff. And like my mum and dad obviously don't, you know, particularly want to see me hating myself so much, but I really don't know, like I don't know how to kind of get out of this. Like, how do I move on from it? I just don't know. But yeah, I'm just going in with some highlighter. This is the Doll Beauty. It's the Doll Light in shade Shine Bright. Um, honestly, this highlight is so good. And honestly, it, why did I say honestly, guys? It's such a good highlighter and it lasts for so long. I've had this since my last birthday. So I've had this over a year now and like you can't even tell like i've used it but i literally use it near enough every day and you can't even tell like it lasts for so long that's why i have some products like it doesn't bother me paying a, like a little bit more like, this wasn't expensive um but like like highlights they just last ages like eyeshadow palettes they like last ages as well like powder products really last a long time um so it doesn't bother me really like spending like a bit more on a product like that but yeah, I think I'm near enough done. I'm just going to do my eyes. I think me and Josh tonight were going to have a takeaway. Um, he said that we could have an Indian. So that's my favourite. He said it when I was freaking out at the um, vaccine centre yesterday. But obviously I'm only just starting to feel better. But he's not feeling the best and he does not like Indian really. Like he doesn't mind it, but he would never choose it. So... I don't know. Do I torture him with it when he's not feeling the best? Because he also got his vaccine yesterday, but he got his like five hours before me. Um, I don't know. I'm just curling my lashes and then I go in with the Maybelline New York since I think there's why is it so like that? Is the oh no, I don't get that. Oh, is that a foreign language? I don't know. It's the lash sensational. I was like looking at this side, trying to figure out why it said still sensational, but I assume that must be a different language. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so I just go in with this. I have really, really short lashes as well. I hate them, but I don't wear false lashes and I don't really do eyeliner either. I mean, my makeup's quite basic. And then I just go in over the top with this um benefit tinted primer i know obviously you want to put a primer on top but i up below you meant to do primer before you put mascara on top but i really like the brush so oh, no. oh, i've just blinked and got it all over me um but yeah i like the brush of this so i always go over the top just to like take off like any clumpy mascara so i've pretty much done my makeup now so i'm just taking off like any makeup that i've got on my lips again i just use my micellar water it's like taking off all the product on my lips because i know some people like having like some foundation or powder on their lips before they do like their lip gloss or lipstick or whatever but again my skin hates that see so yeah, i'm just removing all that and then i'm gonna go in with the last product i've got to try is the fenty beauty cream so i have wore this um i'm just like drying my lips once already i was quite surprised because i thought the cream one would be a bit more a bit more pigmented pig, pigmented yeah a bit more pigmented than it is but it's still nice from the one time i've tried it but and there we are so this is my full face well not full face of new makeup but so 50 percent 70 percent of new makeup what do you guys think i'll let you know what i think of the sides like do i like the i have to keep looking at them do i like the wonder glow or do i like the flawless filter better or do i like but to be honest and I like I put like a bit of powder on. I think the foundation was a more matte powder, but I don't think I look that glowy. But I don't know, I quite like it. I'll let you know. And I'll also let you know how well the foundation holds up. Right now I quite like it. And I think I did quite a good colour match actually. Um but yeah, 
I will check in with you guys later. So now we've recently just come for a little country walk. I think we're in Port Maddox. There. Look how beautiful this waterfall is. Honestly, waterfall is like one of my favourite things. This is so gorgeous. I just wish it was a bit more sunny. I know, it's really great, isn't it? How gorgeous is all this? There's a little stream there. Ross has gone walking over there. It's so pretty. What'd you say? I love waterfalls so much. So pretty. Mountains. It's only too loud. It was raining. What was it? It's very sad. sat down now I'm just knackered but it's so gorgeous which you can see for miles the road's down there as well I don't know where Josh is he's somewhere back there but I've lost him so we've had a bit of a break now and we're just trying to find out where the next way is like we can't figure out I feel like we're at the top but I don't know where we're supposed to go from here I could literally stare at this view all day, don't you? You're going to investigate, I'll investigate. <laughs> okay, you go investigate. Be careful. home now um from josh's i thought i'd just give you a little makeup update in terms of like the foundation and the why can i remember the glowy primer or the, the filter one oh, i can't remember the names so the makeup hasn't held up the best but i don't know if that was me because i was like lying down and things so like if you can see it's all separated on my nose it's like a lot worse in person but i do wear glasses um like when i was driving and stuff so maybe that didn't help and then it's like come off all on my chin but i don't think you can really see that but it's not terrible and i really don't think there's any difference in terms of glowiness like i don't think either product made me any more do you i say maybe the filter one like the tiniest bit but i don't know if that's just the light on this side of my face like if I was a different direction maybe it'd be different but yeah I mean I don't think they add a major thing but I definitely wouldn't use both that's my personal opinion I wouldn't use both I would just literally buy just one and um, yeah I'm gonna keep trying them out and see sometimes my skin like grows with a product like like it gets used to it and then it like kind of starts performing better like when I first try products out usually my skin doesn't really like them that much um but yeah i'm gonna take my makeup up now because i feel gross um, i'm starting to feel a bit ill again i kind of did pick up but now I'm like my whole body's just in pain i'm just hoping that i get a better nice sleep tonight so i thought i'd show you oh god my nighttime routine quite quickly in terms of my skincare so first off ooh, i would just shove my hair back in one of like these headbands just so it doesn't get so once I've cleansed my face again I'm going to go in with these nip and fab um these are the glycolic daily cleansing pads I know they do have some evening ones as well um but these are just the ones I have yeah I think they do quite a few different ones to be honest but I like these again just because they're so easy it's not messy like I don't like really messy products like I feel like 
like the Elemis cleansing balm stuff it's just a messy product and I don't really like that so yeah it's just like a little pad and you just wipe it all over your face oh they do have kind of like a smell to them that I'm not the biggest fan of but it just makes me feel so clean like I love them by the way my evening routine is not the best like I should like double cleanse and stuff but sometimes I just cannot be bothered some cleansers that I do like though is this one that one's not too bad so this is the oh god Evelon I think it has a bit of a weird smell to it though but I don't mind that one and then I have some in my shower that I use I love the La Roche Posay um it's like a like a cream one it's in like a big white tub and then I also like the is it like Roche Posay again and it's like um like a gel one and they're the two that I have in my shower I like to use sometimes I like to do them in the shower just because I think it's easier and less messy yeah kind of suffering with a breakout at the minute can you see so i've got like all these around here then i've got these ones all on this side my forehead oh, i hate them i don't think that's what's adding to like my insecurities at the minute, but i don't really think it is like it used to but like i'm not that bothered about my spots anymore like i've always been like a spotty person i think i'll always be a spotty person it's just the way life goes um but yeah anyway anyway so the next product i use is the elemis balancing lavender toner so you can use this in a few ways so you can put it straight onto a cotton wool and wipe over the face but you can also use it like a refreshing spritz but sometimes when i put it on the cotton pad i feel like i waste a lot of product so what I like to do is spray it all over my face. I like to sink in, but then I kind of just lightly just rub it into my skin. Also, I always disinfect my hands before I do my skincare. Um, just because I don't want any like germs on my hands like when I'm doing moisturizer and stuff. So that I really just lightly like put it into the skin and so refreshing as well so yeah i like this i've never really had a lavender product before but this one's nice i think they do it in another uh, i can't remember what flavor it is well scent it is but it's like a yellow one whereas it's like the blue one it's yellow and that's another like toner that elemis do so the next product i use is also from elemis and it's the pro collagen marine oil so, oh god just nearly dropped that <laughs> um so it's this one i do have other ones i also have um this rose one but i've only used it like once i'm trying to get back into my singer because i kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit so i am trying to get back onto it so if there's any products that you really like then please let me know because i'm always looking for new products try out because it's so hard to know like what what you're supposed to put on your skin like what ingredients what like actual products like toners oils cleansers exfoliators moisturizers like it's a lot um and it's hard to like i guess try on error products because it is expensive like skincare is expensive like i kind of treated myself to a lot at christmas because that always like a christmas present to myself but it's expensive like it's one of them it's like makeup all runs out at the same time um but yeah i really like this oil it's very oily um but i like to put it underneath my moisturizer because i put my moisturizer on and it kind of just soaks it all into my skin like i said this morning i don't like tackiness like my skin doesn't like that anyway but like i don't like a sticky face like i can't go better if my makeup not my makeup if my skin is like tacky and sticky it goes through me so i'm just letting this soak in now oil just takes it over i don't like putting products on it straight away so i kind of like just let it dissolve a bit oh something i did before actually was i booked um so basically for christmas my sister adopted me a pig so my favorite animal is pigs i don't know if you can you see it 
I've got like loads of pink teddies lined up. I sound like a 12 year old. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with pigs. So I booked to go and see my pig. It's like an hour and a half away from me. He's called Harry Trotter. How cute is that? Um, so yeah, I made like a donation and everything. So Josh could come with me. And yeah, I'm going to see my pig on Sunday. So on Saturday, Josh is getting his tattoo and I might message my friends to see if they want to go for like a picnic or something because the sun's meant to be out at the weekend. So live up our last bit. So I might see if they're free. Then Saturday evening. Sorry if you can hear my mum. She's on the phone to her friend. She's so loud all the time. Um, so then it's Saturday evening. We're going out for a meal. Then Sunday I've booked for us to go see off my pig. And then on, it's like in a like a like a like a reserve it's it like rescues pigs like it saves them from like being like slaughtered and things like that so that's why like when you go visit like you make donations like my, my sister getting me this pig to adopt like it's like a, a donation to help them keep running it's like a pig sanctuary i think it's called um but yeah and then on sunday i'm not sure what we're doing in the evening um probably just cook something or something like that and then on Monday, I think we're going to go for a walk. I'm not too sure where. We went for one weekend, just gone, and oh my god, it was awful. We ended up, oh god, I can't even explain it. We ended up in the middle of like fields. And I'll insert some clips actually now of what we ended up in. So it was meant to just be this nice walk. And it was like, farms we ended up in the middle of farms it was like on mountain hills we trekked everywhere we got so lost and then i came like head to head with a, a cow it was i was pooing my pants because i had to walk past this like herd of cows to like try find our way back and oh and we were like caught like there was sheep everywhere there was what else we see horses it was just but yeah i'll insert them clips Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is my eye cream. So it's the same one that I used this morning, the Dragon's Blood one by Rodeo. And I just pop this under my eye. I think it was Lorna that I saw on Instagram, like this was ages ago. She just says you should rub it under your eye and then you should like tap it. Because this gets like the product in and like the blood flowing or something. I'm not too sure, but she knows everything. So I just follow her comments and then I just do the same as the other eye so rub it really lightly like all under it and then just tap to be honest I really don't see much of a difference this eye cream does I'm not sure what it really claims to do it just says eye gel hydrating tone I'm not too sure what you're going to tone into your eye but it says comforts and restores through skin hydration Lasting moisturisation, reduces the appearance of puffiness. As in it, I personally wouldn't rave about it. I don't know that all the products are meant to be really good, but this one, I don't think it's that crazy. And then the last thing I do is my Estee Lauder. So I use this one in the day and I use this one in the evening. There are other moisturisers I like, but I think it's Aunt Josh's. I really like the Olay one. It's it called? It's in like a red tub and it's like, I think it's like Olay reju Rejuvenalization, no I can't say it, Rejuvenalization, oh, I can't say it, it's like a red one, you will have seen it everywhere, that's a really good moisturiser as well, I really like that one, I love Olay products, but yeah, I also really like Estee Lauder. So yeah, we just rub all this in, oh, my face feels like it's just had a facial, oh, so nice. I feel like it's so refreshing like going to bed with nice clean skin but then also waking up and your skin just feels like a baby's bum oh lovely 